Hi there, it's Kaya from Katya Crafts and today we will make this adorable card using Jane's Doodles stamps. First we have to stamp our images and for this I will use my Momento Tuxedo Black ink that is alcohol ink safe because later on I will do some coloring with alcohol markers. So as you can see I am using this set that's called Belated Birthday and I will stamp the cake and some candles. Now you can see I made some masks and I will put it on the stamped image because I want this cake to be in front of everything so that's why I stamped it first. I created these masks a bit earlier I just stamped it on my masking paper and put it the stamp set. And now I will use this big dog that's from the set called the dog and I will do the same. I will stamp it and then I will use the mask I prepared earlier to put it on. And you should be careful while applying the mask because you wanna actually mask it off because if not you will have a white border around your image. And now I will stamp this party hat too and that will be it. I will just mask it off with my mask and we will move on to the ink blending. I decided to use these two colors of Distress Ink for my ink blending. The first one is Peacock Feathers and I will use it as sky. So I will just put it on my ink blending tool and I will dab some of the color off to have the softer effect. Because if you go directly to the image you may have a lot of splatters. And I have these inks for quite some time so I have my sponge wet and inked up. So if you have a new sponge you will have a bit of the problem but you just keep on going and adding the ink just don't forget to dab it off if you don't want the edges to be seen so i will just apply some more of the ink and now i will apply some water splatters this is just a normal paper that's why you won't see it much but it's just the effect i was going for just a little splatters that aren't seen at all and now this is like the best part ever revealing what we have created and I mean this is just amazing we can now move on to the coloring I will use my spectrum noir alcohol markers and the ink I used before so Momento Tuxedo Black it's uh, saved with alcohol markers so it won't bleed if you will use for example onyx black ink that would uh, bleed so i will just do some shadows i'm using here bg3 bg5 and now i'm adding just a little bit of bg7 i just wanted a bit of the darker edge and i didn't have the middle shade so i just went tip to tip with bg5 and that's how i made the darker shade so I will just move along and I will color his head and I will do it the same way. So um, BG3 as the bottom layer of our color and then the BG5 as a middle shade and BG7 as the darkest. And now it will be the time to color the cake. I will use the yellow and since this is really a small uh, image I will use just two colors CT2 and CT4 and now I will just color his party hat I will use LG3 and CG4 and that will be practically it I just wanted to color in this way and I will just use some grays this is GG2, GG1 and of course blender to make the cake white with some shadows and now I will use my sear to, to make some uh, pink details. And of course I need to add details with my white gel pen and I will just draw some lines and dots and our coloring will be finished. Now I will use this die from Najlepsi Part, it's called Romantic Frames and you will see how it cuts, it's really beautiful. I will just get this interpiece and then I will take this black cardstock and I will die cut it again. 
because I wanted to have this frame with my picture in it. So you will see I will take my card base and I will position it and you will see how it will look in the end. And of course we need a sentiment, I don't know if I ever make a card without a sentiment. So I went for the happy birthday from the cake set, uh, also from Jane's Doodles, and I will again stamp it with my Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And now I took my scoreboard and I will just score some lines so I can uh, make a banner. You will see it here, I will just make one line and then I will move along for, I believe that was a quarter of an inch and I will just make it flap. So you can see how it looks and now I will do the fishtail end on the both sides. So I ended this and just cutting in the middle and then the cuts meet in the center. And that's when I was deciding how to put it, but first I will glue it together so it will be more firm. So I will just glue it with my foam tape and I, as you can see the how it will look in the end and how it looked before. And I will just do the same on the other side and we will have this dimension but without a lot of effort. So I will just glue my frame down and I will make sure I center it and I just put some foam behind my panel and of course glue it down with my foam tape again. And I glued down my sentiment with uh, some foam squares but I don't know what happened to the footage I'm sorry. So I will just finish this card up with some glossy accent and I will just cover the cake so it will have some more dimension. And that will be it for this card. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and that you will join me next time. So see you! Bye bye!